You gotta get moving. Oh, that's magical. The reason that we gotta really be in a rush right now is it's like 8.20 and we're at the National Forest doing a trail. We had to choose a shorter trail. We slept in a little too much. From Black Mountain area, Asheville area, North Carolina. And we're just gonna take you along for what a day in van life looks like. And honestly, today kind of encapsulates <laughs> all of van life. A regular day in van life is not just fun and adventure. I wish it was all the time. However, we have a few chores we need to do. I have a couple meetings. So it's trying to figure out how do we balance real life, quote unquote, and also <laughs> having fun and adventuring. Instead of doing a longer uh, further hike this morning I guess we'll go this way I always made sure I had options when I was looking up hikes in this area thank goodness I did too cold <laughs> And even though today isn't totally normal for us, like a lot of our days are like sitting in Walmart parking lots getting work done or just like at a coffee shop, this one day is gonna kind of encapsulate all of van life for us. We also have so much laundry in the van that we were supposed to do today, but we got in late because we were at the Mercedes dealership for three days. Bed for the night. But we got a new key out of it, so we're good. And a working van. It's all about the key, honestly. But then what's beautiful about van life is after we're done working, we'll be able to go do something really fun and end the night in a different town. <laughs> What do you think this is? I don't know. Woods are spooky, man. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought working up a lot of energy before you eat would make you very hungry? I thought you would, honestly. Babe, these are your favorite type of falls. Water? No, they got a bridge. That was funny, though. Yeah, super funny. <laughs> Give us a little log to sit on. This is perfect. And that first shot did not show all of it. Let's see if I could even do it now. What would you rate this waterfall? Man out of The unfortunate part is now we have to go. We gotta be back in 25 minutes to the van. Good thing it's all downhill. This is the wrong time to have to tie my shoe. And she's running now. She normally doesn't run. That's not fair. How fast, how much did you beat me by? Oh, only like a minute. Still, that's not a far trail to beat my minute. Only clipped my ankles twice. Oh, nice. One on each ankle, but we're, <laughs> we're still good. We gotta get you moving. Yep. Woo. Oh, we're gonna barely make it. Good thing we ran. That's where we were. 9.57. Okay, go, go. Oh, no, my leggings are on inside out. <laughs> oh, well. Bye. We just bought a rice cooker, and I made rice for the first time. It looks so perfect. That's like the one thing I missed from home. And so now we'll be able to do it. And what I was worried about is it started using like 30 amps of our battery, but it only takes like 45 minutes to cook. And because we're in the sun, we started at 100% and now, well, it got down to like 95%, but we're at 96 already. So it'll use maximum like 10% of our battery. We should be able to recharge it, no problem. And it looks so, so good. How was your meeting? This is actually really good. I still haven't gotten any work done yet because I just been cleaning and cooking and stuff, but. Such a good van husband. <laughs> Well, got a lot of work done. What's next? A couple uh, stores here I want to check out, then another hike, and then a little bit of a walk. Oh, we can walk there. It's just right down there. Very few places in Florida. I don't think any stores in Florida that carry them. Yeah. But people like swear by these gels. Mm. Um, and I haven't been able to find a gel that's worked for me yet. I probably just swear at those gels because I don't like running. <laughs> Such a cute little town. Yeah. Not a bad view either way. You got mountains there. Wow. Got mountains there. Freaking pretty. I spent a lot of money here as a camp counselor. Oh no. What's your guess? What's your total? For how much I spent here? Yeah. Uh, maybe like a hundred, hundred fifty. That's not a lot of money though. When you aren't making that much, it is. All right, Mr. Van, take us to. I don't know where we're going. Rattlesnake Trail. I forgot. <laughs> take us to the mountains, essentially. Oh yeah. This drive was insane. Not meant for our vehicle size. It's not meant for any vehicle size. Super windy and like just drop-offs with no guardrails. So this hike better be amazing. Fuel up. Do you want to do the honors? Wow. Sure. Oh. How do you? Oh shit. We can only go on the trail for high. Why do I have the sinking feeling that just like in Shenandoah, we're just gonna go straight up? I don't know. What you're talking about? Sounds like you know something.
talk about realistic expectation. Taking video ideas down in the middle of a hike. Real, real life. All right, we're pretty close. You can tell when you could see like the peak of the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta catch my breath. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at this view. Now we stay here for the night. No. <laughs> Why not? No camp. Oh. Man, who would have thought December in the mountains in North Carolina would have like the most perfect weather that we've had in like weeks. To be fair, it's December 3rd, but yes. Count it. So we were about to head here and look how close it is, but how far. It's just right there, but it's an hour and 15 minutes away. We won't make it in time. Be there by 6.45. The park closes at seven. So do you want to go or no? We can't, we won't be able to leave. Sorry. Well, that's the highest point east of the Mississippi, so. <laughs> Do you want to go tomorrow morning? No, it'd be too far. So we made it, but parking here is so tight. And we're not sure if we're going to be able to get out. But we're going to go to the brewery, and luckily we live in here, so worst case scenario, we just spend a couple hours in here before we go to like the spot for the night. Yep. You said you're so tired, so it's a good thing we're going and getting alcohol. This looks like a really cool spot. Is that nice? Cheers. How would you say today compares to normal days in van? I think than they normally are. We normally go a little slower, but I think part of us, because we're with our friends, we want to show off a little more. Normally, like this will be split between a couple of days, and it's also different in like I feel like this is relatively normal for like when we want to adventure hard. A lot of days are just like work days or chill days. But this is like a really good example of what both of those vines look like. And it's still only like seven o'clock, even though it got dark so fast. Where are we gonna spend tonight? Probably Walmart. That's realistic expectations. Right? Yeah. To show you how we make some food in the van. We went to Trader Joe's and got some gnocchi. No, we didn't. What did we get? We got some fresh uh, pasta. No, we got tortellini? Yes. Oh, not gnocchi. Two different types of tortellini. And luckily we don't have to go any further than there. It's always great living in a van because you never have to really look for it. It's just always the tallest thing. Also, and more expectations, uh, look at how messy our van is and this is just kind of how it goes. And this is where we put everything when we don't want it to fall when we drive because um, the van is stable. Are we going to say we there because... <laughs> I'm just going to keep zooming because then I don't have to address that. <laughs> it's going to be good. I hope so. Me too. Real life. Did you really give me chopsticks? <laughs> no. Just because you eat tortellini with chopsticks? I didn't even think about it. <laughs> You're such a goob. This is real band life. Anthony working during dinner. Laptop is closed. When the camera turns off, who knows? <laughs> but actually, that's real life. And it's super understanding. Like, we spent a lot of the day playing. And our work has to happen at weird hours. And that's okay. One thing that else is weird is like 9 o'clock now. And we just kind of been chilling in here. You've been reading. I've been watching TikToks and like doing some work. And it's just like one of those things that... You don't feel like you have to move on from spaces nearly as fast as you did before, even though we're just in a parking lot. Yeah, there's no home to get to. <laughs> yeah, we're already there. Yeah. We just have to take it somewhere that we can sleep. And we're home. Walmart. All the way in the back. That's a day. If you want to see another mountain day, watch the video that we did in Shenandoah here. Or if you want to see what it's like in a city, you can watch the video we did in New York. Right there. Over her face. Sorry. Bye.